favorite patty. Ah, uh, uh, okay, I can't, I can't not say something. <sighs> I, <laughs> I really was going to try not to say anything because I have this thing that I really don't want politics or religion on my channel. But, in case for those that don't know it, Arkansas is trying to pass a bill that will oh, allow them not to serve um, gay people, um, businesses. And um, we all know there are many gay YouTubers. Um, Two of which I love, one of which is very famous. You guys refer to him all the time. He is like, in my opinion, one of the big makeup gurus. Uh, and I just think it's a real slippery slope when you start legislating against one group of people, regardless of what group that is. Um, real slippery slope. Historically, it's been proven, such as in India, Germany, and you all think, oh, well, that's a bit of an extreme. Well, it's not. No, I'm sure the Germans didn't think that what was going to happen would happen. So anyway, <laughs> now that I got that off my sh chest, um, which, believe me, I don't need to wear any bigger of a bra, uh, so I need to get it off my chest. Uh, <laughs> I just slept 12 hours. I'm exhausted. Um, but I have to go grocery shopping. No food. There's just no food. Um, we're not at um, the end of the coffee, though. A friend of mine, I did a favor for it. She, she brought me two cans of coffee. So it's like, hey, whatever. She didn't need to. So, I don't know. It's warm today, but it is supposed to go back down into the high 30s or low, 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 like 40. Um, and we have a 100% chance of precipitation, uh, rain and snow. Um, this is when we get some of our biggest blizzards. I, I know it sounds strange, but it's true. It's true. So, I'm going to get in the car and go shopping. Still have the cream. I mean, look. Still have the cream, everything here. Um, need to clean. I don't know why I put the base there, I guess, because I got flowers from Danny. It, I just think it, I still have my camera attachment. I mean, I've got so much to do. It's just like I'm getting behind, 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 behind. <sighs> just behind oh and I rag curled my hair but I don't think I was planning on sleeping 12 hours um, it is totally out of control I literally had to put it in a barrette to try so that I could see I feel like Shaggy the dog when it's down um, it'll drop because my hair is so straight. It can't hold a tangle, a little less a curl. But I just thought I'd red curl my hair. See if it, yeah, how well it curled my hair. It curled it extremely well. And I, I put this in when they, it was almost completely dry. <sighs> a lot of curl. A lot of curl. Well, I'm going to look at the grocery list and go shopping. I mean, I have to. I have to get over early, um, which is not early. It's 1 o'clock, uh, but I have to get it done first thing or I just won't even go. I'm too tired. So, hey, let's do it. Well, oh, I'm back. It's not much of a thing from Walmart. I have... Uh, Friends coming over for dinner tomorrow, so I'm going to give them 
I know, perfectly food. None of us are great cooks, so I think it's great. So I got the chicken with the eggplant for one meal. And then uh, these are cupcakes, like Hostess cupcakes, but they're, me they're Mexican for dessert. I got some chips, some little smokies. Now, this skillet dinner, the chili cheese mac, really loved that other one, cornbread. Oh. <laughs> It was gross. Um, some bread, bananas, and then I bought two pounds of this hamburger because it was two fifty-seven. Some eggs for egg salad, and I needed drugs. So I'm gonna make some egg salad for tonight, I think. Yeah. So let me put these away because it's warm in the house. I don't know. The weather goes up and down, up down, up down. And this is when we traditionally get head colds. Uh, I'll be back. Oh, good news. Amanda signed the contract. It's on its way back. She will be moving to Florida. Yay! Uh, <laughs> the, uh, last night, I couldn't go to sleep. So when I can't go to sleep, I read the Huffington Post. But I read the weird news part. And I found this article. It's really great. It's by Roz Warren. And she also writes for the New York Times and the Funny Times. But it's how to survive a zombie apocalypse or repel an irate library patron. There are two kinds of people. Those who prepare for the upcoming collapse of civilization. Calamitous natural disaster and or a zombie apocalypse. Then there's the rest of us. But I do try to hedge my bet. Whenever I see a new book about coping with the worst, I buy it. I put it on my disaster shelf. Yes, I have an entire shelf devoted to books for emergency survival, including titles like Special Air Service Survival Handbook, Preparedness Now, and How Not to Die. I think that would be a good one to own, How Not to Die. I figure that if the world ever starts seriously going to hell, I can consult them. So when the library where I worked added last minute secret survival, last minute survival secrets, 128 genius tips to endure the coming apocalypse and other minor inconvenience to its collection, I bought myself a copy for the shelf, written by Joey Green, humorous, who wrote the Mad Scientist Handbook. I bought that for my ex-husband. It's packed with quirky DIY tips for coping with everything from a power outage to total collapse of life as we know it. In the wake of major disasters of calamity, Green promises you'll know how to make a radio antenna from a slinky, Revive a dead battery with an aspirin, or start fire with potato chips. Well, of course you could start a fire with potato chips. They're all grease. But anyway, she goes on to saying <laughs> that I now know how to defend myself with a ballpoint pen, which is bound to come in handy for library work. Even better, I can fashion that pen plus a few other items easily found in the circulation desk into a dart gun. What a great way to respond to irate patrons who go ballistic when I tell them they have to pay a fine, and of course, when the zombies attack the library. So she goes on and on. But I love the ending. Should disaster ever strike my Philadelphia suburb, you'll probably find me cowering under the bed. I'll be the library. <laughs> the librarian fashioning a Molotov cocktail from tampons. <laughs> I'll put the link to the article. I'm sorry, I just found it too funny. I don't read weird news. I mean, regular news. I just read weird news. So, if you ever need a laugh, just go to the Huffington Post to their weird news section. They actually have a weird news section. Well, we had a bit of mishap here. Uh, our friend Pat, um, oh, before I start the story, I gotta get coffee. I made fresh coffee, I need some. Uh, I drank some coffee, I feel better. 
Uh, so when we were going to be sleeping off our um, Girls Gone Wild, um, Pat just, well, I don't think she decided to. I don't know, because I always tell you, don't, don't hit the deer, because it'll just total your front end. But she decided to hit a tree instead. <laughs> and unfortunately, because she has an antique pickup truck, no airbags, so she got tousled around. And it was a little hairy there for a minute, because she broke some ribs and collapsed along. And so that's what we've been doing. We've been at the hospital. Um, I think that's the cool thing about the women that I, hold on, I have honey on my finger. Uh, oh, I forgot to get raw sugar. Oh, oh, it looks like I'm going to be going shopping again. I just, I just got enough to get by for like a couple days. I just need sleep. I mean, I need more sleep even than 12 hours. Um, so let's see, what was I saying? Uh, that's the cool thing about the ladies that I hang out with is that anything happen, we're all there. Somebody gets food, you know, we deal with this, whatever. So instead of sleeping off our girls gone wild, we were at the emergency room. And then in the surgical waiting room. <laughs> but we've all decided we are way too old. And I mean... I emphasize it way too old for Girls Gone Wild again in this lifetime. <laughs> it's not happening. I, like I said, I don't know what got into all of us because, you know, I didn't like try to stop them and say, oh no, I don't think we ought to do this. It was like, sure, whatever. <laughs> so I don't think I'm innocent because I'm not. I didn't say, are you sure this is a good idea? It's like, no, I didn't say that whatsoever. God, I might drink some coffee and start some eggs. I need to boil if I want egg salad because it's warm here today. So I want something, um, I don't know, summery. I have some avocados. I could do egg salad or egg salad with bacon or make the egg salad and do avocado and bacon. And if I'm really hungry, then just do like half egg salad and half avocado. I don't want the egg salad and the avocado together. It's a brilliant mind of mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, the eggs are boiling. I don't know how long it takes to make hard boiled eggs. I just get them boiling and then put 15 minutes on the top. I, I don't even have the initiative to look up. I don't care. I boil them 15 minutes, they're always done. Now if I just knew the magic secret of peeling them. God, there is no magic secret. Well, I'm putting off turning the oven on as long as possible. I have clothes that need to be dried, but I'm putting that off as long as possible. Because the temperature will drop. I mean, it drops every night. It's like living in a desert here. And we're not even a desert. We're the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Oh. I got the kitchen fairly clean. I got one pot soaking. I washed the one pot that soaked for two days. <laughs> this is where I wish somebody lived with me. Because it would be like, hey... Do you think she might want to wash that? Well, I'll wash that for Claudie. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> but no. I soak it. I get to wash it. Um, let's see. So, eggs are boiling. Put some bacon in the oven. I've just decided to hedge my bed. So, I'm just making food. Or my egg salad. All I do to make eggs is smash up the eggs with a egg a potato smasher. Makes it really easy. And then put mayo and purple onions in it. Salt, pepper, I'm done. So I've just decided to make that. 
and I have to eat some avocados, so I'll probably have that with some bacon on it. The huge. <sighs> I'm just going around, picking up stuff, putting it away, picking it up, putting it away, and I actually plug in my laptop. I got, um, it's not charged. I should have plugged it in last night, but that would have involved dealing with stuff, and I didn't. So I can answer you guys. I've thumbed up some of your videos, but I, I can't answer if I'm on my iPad. Um, uh, it just crashes. Um, I looked into that, and I need to back up my whole iPad virtually, but I don't trust virtual, so I will take snag all of because I have poems on it. The only thing I want on is my notes and my pictures, just in case, because I write poetry. Um, yes, I do. <laughs> um, but, so that's it for me today. I mean, I'm just gonna make some egg salad, cook some bacon, smash up avocado, make some toast. Yeah, fuge. And, uh, probably get this to render it so subscribe if you haven't <laughs> and I love you guys to pieces take care bye bye